What's up and welcome to Tech Select with me, Linus. In today's video, we are looking at Windows FX or Linux FX, depending on what you'd like to call it, which is basically a Linux distribution that is an exact ripoff of what Windows would uh, deliver, basically. So it is everything that you'd find in Windows, but on a Linux based platform. Let's dive straight into the video and let's check this distro out. So as you can see right here, we are in what I would call the live version of um, this here distro. So this here is just loading off the ISO image itself already. This has, you know, the normal Windows uh, outlook to it. It has the, the, the Windows logo, the start menu. It feels something familiar. It's like I'm actually using a version of Windows. Let's go ahead and install this before we do get to actually look at it. Um, the loading menus do look exactly like what you'd expect from a Windows machine. So it is actually something uh, interesting uh, to have right there. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, pick this here. First language um, option is American English. Um, this install, I think, is uh, based on Calamaris, if I'm not wrong. Let's just see here about, indeed, it's a Calamaris installer. So let's just go right here and hit next to install. Uh, pick um, where you are at, keyboard layout. I'm using a UK keyboard, so let's go with that. I'm just going to say erase the entire disk because uh, there's nothing really there. So here we're going to put a name and we're going to call this text select. Mm, first of all, let's just put a space bar because we don't want anything complicated. And then definitely it is asking me to, you know, um, authenticate or basically confirm what I have, uh, the settings I put in, if that's exactly what I want. Let's go and install. Right, so as that is installing, let's just go over here and uh, look into Linux FX over here. And of course, you know, if you're looking for it, where do you download it from? So this here, when you go, the operating system is actually called Linux FX, but when you go looking for it, the link says windowsfx.org. So that's why you'll get it. So off the website here, already we get to see that, you know, it is basically a Windows uh, 10.8 professional and they say it is fast, stable and very safe. I should note that um, this year has two editions or two versions of the operating system. You have um, the free edition, which is what we are playing with right now. And then there's a professional edition that will cost you 25 US dollars. Now, this here is something that um, is a preference. If you'd like, maybe you can go try out the free one. And if you actually do uh, want to upgrade, you can always upgrade to the professional. Now, here is a chart, as you can see on my desktop here, uh, the difference between the free and the professional. Uh, so operation features are same throughout, uh, desktop system settings and tools. That one you find a professional assistant voice command. I think this would be like Cortana, um, or, you know, just text to speech or stuff like that. That would be professional microsoft active directory actually is also supported here but in the professional uh version the onedrive file manager and all these other resources so you have all the desktop resources in the free version are limited for 30 days and unlimited in the final uh, version so these are things that you should actually uh, do look around so you can acquire a serial key over there when you do decide uh, to purchase now uh, windows fx is a brazilian best distribution so it comes all the way from the land of brazil and of course they're the ones that have decided that you know what while everybody is making a copy of mark 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 we are going to make a copy of windows <laughs> now here are some of the features that i see them bragging about here on the website friendly interface obviously it's a windows interface office tools windows fx brings the ms office online and only office suit for continuous production but of course this means you need to have like windows uh, office 360 and all those things microsoft applications like skype there's so many that already ported over to linux um windows desktop interface okay that one i give you that one yes personal assistant hello yeah i don't remember the last time it's a personal assistant and i wouldn't really be choosing this because of personal assistant and then here is the bit that just gets my attention it says windows fx can run dot exe and dot msi programs natively with a double click as in microsoft windows we had to explore this and uh, test it out but of course i have a feeling it is like maybe ported uh, through a version of wine or something like that one of those emulators so we are going to be testing that as well so basically that is the windows fx 
um, or Linux FX website in a nutshell. If you're looking to uh, download it for your testing or use pleasure, then definitely you can just check it out windowsfx.org. I shall leave a link in the description uh, for you to download that and get enjoy. So installation took quite a while, but I think that's because my machine is not really the best machine you can buy out there. But here is definitely the layout of what you get. Now, like I said earlier, when you log it on, you have the Windows uh, wallpaper, the usual one you used to. When you right click, you do come up with a nice interesting menu, create new folder, new document, add uh, desklets. What are desklets here? Oh, these are like uh, like the widgets. So basically widgets become desklets. So I did have to shut up Cortana or whatever it's called on this. It's actually called Helloa. It also resides down here on the taskbar. Uh, as soon as you open, it's first that jumps up and you know it keeps talking. And just like Cortana normally does after you're done installing Windows, just annoying. But I did have to keep that uh, quiet. So the taskbar is exactly where you'd expect it to be, like on Windows. I do like the fact that you know the start menu does have a really interesting resemblance. Windows, everything has a nice layout. So if you are switching over, let's say it is something that actually is um, a good a good feel for you because everything is right where you're used to it being. Everything is actually uh, grouped like now uh, games, you know, graphics, the apps are in there, internet, apps are all in there and everything is still where it's supposed to be. Um, if I were, let's say somebody that is new to Linux, switching over from a Windows machine, I definitely wouldn't be uh, lost at all with this distribution. Now, uh, basically when you're looking at this, it's Windows generally. It feels like you're using Windows. Everything feels right there. So if you're using this for productivity, let's say you're kind of person that just writes documents and stuff, it does actually feel like Windows. Everything feels where it is, uh, where it's supposed to be. There's nothing really um, crazy about it. Um, the start menu actually does uh, give me a nice organized feel. Like I said earlier, I like the way everything is organized. But then there's this uh, side over here that has other smaller icons. So like there's this one here that has uh, what would be your control panel. And indeed, it does bring out a very similar um, page like what you'd get on Windows. I do actually like this. Is, helps you get an easy um, ac accessibility to the settings so that you can easily tweak everything there. Um, if we go to a terminal over here, terminal as you can see it's PowerShell uh, 7.1.3 and uh, let's just check out here um, sudo um, apt-get um, update. Okay. Alright, so that actually does work. So you get to know that this here is a Linux Ubuntu system as opposed to Windows. So it would actually be interesting uh, if a hacker did try to get, you know, your information of this thinking you're running on Windows. It would just be really interesting uh, that one uh, but anyways so this here is basically it this is windows fx or linux fx i'm not really going uh, deep into what you can get with this all i all i can tell you is it is a very stable system it is quite snappy uh, even on my very old machine it's actually running smoothly uh, nothing really insane there uh, flat packs are enabled so you can definitely just download those uh, good Linux applications and have them running on here. So everything is just beautifully laid out. The App Store will take you to the Ubuntu App Store so all those nice applications that you can easily get off Ubuntu shall definitely uh, be accessible on here. So as a Linux distro for those that are trying to switch over to Linux but want to maintain that feeling of Windows, this here is what you are actually looking for uh, to have. If you like this video or like content like this or just like check out uh, everything about tech, different reviews, Linux videos and all that, do make sure you uh, drop us a like, subscribe and share uh, right here on this channel. It does help us a lot. So that uh, subscription there and of course if you have any questions about this particular video or if you'd like me to highlight something in particular about this uh, uh, Linux 
fx or windows fx operating system uh just hit me up in the comments i'll make sure i reply to whatever comment uh, does come through uh so and also i in case i need to explain anything further i will definitely uh help reply it in the comments or if worst case scenario just do another video uh explaining that question that you uh, do have in case of anything just do let me know thank you so much for watching this video until this time my name is linus thank you so much uh, for the like uh, for the share and for that subscription see you guys in the next video Toodles.